Welcome back to another video guys. I don't know what's going on, but we've done two videos in two days now. It's almost like we're getting serious about YouTubing. There we go. Anyway, so today's uh, today's video is going to be quite a short, sharp and sweet review on the Western McKenney Future Stars card. It's available as an SBC for about another day or so. PlayStation price, you're looking at about 110,000 coins. Xbox, probably about the same price. PC, slightly more expensive. The market's just slightly more expensive than the, on PC. You're looking at about 120,000 coins to complete. Let's have a look at the card to start with. So, this is his card. Now, let's be quite blunt, all right? First of all, EA have given him a phenomenal card. Now, I say it's phenomenal. It should have been even better. Some of you will be aware that what EA advertised on their Twitter isn't as good as this card. The stats were slightly better defensively and physically what they advertised to what we've got. Now, at the end of the day, in all honesty, the card is still phenomenal the way he is. So it's not, it's not the end of the world. Physically, look at these stats. He's got 99 jumping. He's six foot one. So he's going to win that ball in the air. He's got 90 stamina, just what you want for a player to get up and down the pitch. He's got 90 strength. He's got 89 aggression. Defensively, great across the board. Dribbling, his agility and balance was a little bit low. I mean, he's six foot one, so it's going to be it's going to be expected, isn't it? Six foot one. It's one of the reasons why I put an engine on him was to boost that balance a little bit, a little bit on the agility as well. Reactions are slightly up. Ball control, dribbling, that sort of thing. Composure. All right, that's not that's not great, but we'll we'll come on to that. Passing. Um, could be better, but it's, to be fair, in game, he's, he's not bad at all, in all honesty. I mean, you're not going to play him down the wing anyway, are you? So you're not going to be worried about crossing. Uh, long passing is great with the engine because it, it boosts it a little bit. And then his shooting, I'll be honest, having played with him in a couple of games, his shooting was probably his weakest point. Um, his, his positioning was great. He was getting into the right positions, but his actual shooting and finishing wasn't great. Uh, and that's probably reflected in his stats, having 72 finishing. Uh, the power and long shots great, but um, yeah, not much went in. I think you combine 72 finishing with 77 composure, and he didn't seem great in front of goal. In terms of pace, he was fairly mobile for a big fella. He was getting up and down the pitch. Obviously, slight boost on the engine side of things there as well, taking his pace up to about 85. So, in terms of the card itself, we used the card tonight live on stream. We played five games with him. Uh, in that five games, he scored one goal and he had two assists. Now, the problem is the stats won't show on the card, simply because, of course, it was friendly games against other people watching the stream. Oh, not too fussed by that. Um, in terms of the player work rate, medium, medium. I think that suits him quite nicely. I think, I mean, I've, some people I've seen have been playing him at CDM, but actually I think he's got something to offer with passing, and I think that's sort of evidenced by the fact he got a couple of assists, got himself a goal. In all honesty, he could have scored five or six, but like I said when we were talking about his attributes, the guy can't finish. So make sure he doesn't get too far into the box. Uh, perhaps in the settings, if you are going to allow him to get forward and you're not, you're going to use him as his CDM. Get the settings so he stays on the edge and then look to get that pass away again to someone that can perhaps finish because he, he's not fantastic in front of goal. But other than that, as a card, I think he's pretty good. Three-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. So again, you're not going to be skinning people with this sort of player. He's much more sort of your enforcer within the midfield. But he's got decent set of passing on him. He feels comfortable on the ball. Turning, twisting was great. Um, just defensively, what he's a masterclass defensively. Uh, his interceptions were brilliant. He seemed to be in the right place at the right time, pretty much all of the time. Going forward, he felt comfortable on the ball. Not too quick, uh, but he, he was always there. His positioning was good. He's always looking for that pass. Little movements in and out. You know, some players, you, you, you play FIFA sometimes with some players. And they don't move. They just stand there like a lemon. And you're like, come on, mate. Do a bit of movement. Move, you know. Look for that pass. Guess onto the ball. This guy, he's constantly looking for the ball. Which, to me, that's brilliant. Now, in terms of linking him in game, he's American. So, let's be honest. In terms of nations, you're a little bit screwed as to what you're going to play him with. You never know, you might see a flashback Michael Bradley at some point. I can see that happening at some point during uh, during the cycle of FIFA 20. But in terms of nationality, you are kind of stuck. Now, in terms of the league, it does feel at the moment that EA seem to be boosting the German league a little bit. We've got the headline Lewandowski 
got headline voice. As of tonight, we've now got a Cam Sancho. Plus, I don't think I, I don't like the look of a Cam Sancho, but that, that's a different story. We've got Werner, and another card which does give you a strong link is a fellow future stars player, Ozan Kavak. So the chap is a is a young defender just breaking onto the scene. But actually, you look at his stats; they look phenomenal for a centre back. He's really assured in defence. He's strong. He's tall. He can jump. He's got decent agility and balance for a big centre back. Lovely reactions, ball control, decent pace. And actually playing with him, he was all right. Again, you're not going to shoot with him. He's not PLO in midfield. But for a, what I'd call a limited defender, he was he was perfectly adequate. And he, he felt quite comfortable next to Van Dijk. He didn't feel out of place. But that provides you with a strong link. Now, I've played Perisic on the left-hand side. I like Perisic. I think he's a classy card. In terms of getting those chemistry, you don't really have too many meta options within the game. So that is what, to me, that's one of the drawbacks is, in effect, the, the German league compared to, let's say, the Premier League, even La Liga. It's not as strong. I don't think your options are as strong as well. So finding those high-end players to link with, a little bit harder, and some of them are quite expensive. Lewandowski, you're looking at 1.1 mil at the moment. We think that's probably going to go up to probably 1.3, 1.4. Um, and then you've also got that voice card. Again, costs an absolute bomb, but it does offer those links, but they're not strong links. So you've got to be you've got to be quite clever how you're going to fit them into a team. So let's uh, let's summarise the card. To start with, I'll start with his, his positive points. Physically, defensively, he is superb. His positioning is class. He feels very comfortable on the ball. In terms of his pricing, 110,000 coins, I don't think it's too bad. Even 120,000 on the Xbox, I really don't think it's too bad. You could say, well, look, there's Inform Goretzka, roughly the same price. This card is is 10 times better than that Goretzka card. Like Defensively, he is a masterclass. Now, they're not so good points. To be quite honest with you, it's his shooting. You don't want him shooting because you're going to miss opportunities as a result. The other negatives is nationality, being American, hard to link. I'd even be tempted to say because of his league, he's hard to fit into a team. It's not so bad, like I say, when you've got this centre-back. You've got Quebec as a centre-back next to him because you've got a green strong link. So you can afford a red link next to him as a result, as long as you get all the others as, uh, as at least a link of sorts. But he is a little bit of a pain to fit into a team. But in terms of value and what he offers people as, as a team, as a team player, at a rating of 10, I'd give him a really solid 8. A really solid 8 rated card. His overall stats, again, 86 rated. He feels better than that. That's my honest opinion. He feels like a better rated card than 88. Uh, 86, sorry. I don't think he's, he's nowhere near in the same league as your team of the year cards. He's not end game. He's not meta. The best way I can describe this card to someone that's been playing FIFA for a little while, is if you had the uh, UEFA Champions uh, Europa Cup Gondogbia last year on FIFA 19, very, very similar, just isn't as attacking. It's as simple as that. So you could play this guy CDM, you could play this guy centre mid, he's not a cam, great box-to-box -box centre mid, brilliant CDM, one of those two positions. I've even, I've seen some people even look at playing him at centre-back as well. Again, he does an excellent job at centre-back from what I've been told. But overall, 8 out of 10 rating, guys. Um, I'd probably do him if I was doing a German league. That's the end of the review, guys. Like I said, short, sharp. I wasn't going to bother trying to edit some of the video clips that I tried to put together. Mainly because there's some of the stream overlays and without getting the tech stuff of what's happening in the chats, you guys might be a little bit confused. If you haven't already, do us a favour. Um, hit that support button. It's going to be around about here somewhere, I think. Yeah, that'll do. Hit that uh, support, subscribe button. That's what I mean. Hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. We're going to try and release more daily content. Like I say, we're building up at the moment to the E Premier League event for Norwich City on Friday. If you can, guys, jump onto the stream on Friday. I hope to see you there. Give us some support and uh, we'll catch you soon. Bye for now, guys. See you later.